it's time for us to help people learn how to, to become that translator. And so just to recap what this will look like, we're going to bring up a common question that a CEO might ask. Uh, we'll debrief maybe some of the underlying things going on there, and then we'll talk about like you know what somebody can do to better bridge that gap and translate. Uh, the first one, I guess... How we can do this is I can, I guess, ham it up a little bit and, and be the, the, that CEO and then would love to have you to sort of deconstruct it a little bit. The first question to bring up, get me a list of what every engineer is working on. So what's going on here? What do they mean when that question comes up? You want to play? Sure. I'll, I'll, <laughs> you want to go first? I'll start. Let me start with how I hear that question. <laughs> yes, please. I hear that question and my knee-jerk response is like, oh my God, they don't trust me. They don't trust the team. And they're assuming that, that I have a bunch of bozos over here and people are working on, either they're working on stuff and they're ineffective or they're working on irrelevant, wrong stuff. Um, and so that absolutely gets my, gets put, puts me on my like defensive mode of, mm -hmm. you know, of, of what we're doing. I think that the real answer though, is that they don't, they don't actually want a roster of like, if I went off and in a good doobie come back with a spreadsheet and shows, you know, dozens of people and I'm this person's working on that and this person's working on the other, it actually just exposes more surface area because like none of those things are going to mean anything to the CEO anyway. So they're gonna be like, well, what is that? What is what is this? You said Alice is working on that thing. What the hell is that thing? Why are we doing that? And it like it just it's a cascading set of 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 bad conversations. So I would try hard to head that thing off at the pass and be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like what? Help me understand. What are you trying to do with this information? What are we, what are we, how can I help you get what you actually want? Because I don't think it's a list of tasks you haven't heard of that the junior person is working on over there. Uh, okay. So I'm going to agree with Eli. Like when you hear that, there's a game of distrust already happening here. Like you're, 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 you're or, or at least dissatisfaction, right? Um, and, and dissatisfaction could be, why isn't something else coming out faster? Like I thought this was been done or like this thing didn't come out good or, like my favorite person isn't working on this thing. Like, um, like, and I've actually, I've had that happen to me. Someone actually gave me that thing. Um, and I think Eli, you're right. Like there, there's like some outcome that's not happening correctly. The supposition in the, in the, in the said person's head is that like something's wrong with the work assignment pattern slash people are working on the wrong stuff or it's the wrong matching of people to work or they're, they're doing some stuff that's wasting time like there's all of that stuff going on. The only thing I was just to debate with Eli at that point is if someone's asking you that, if I'm asking you that, it's too late. Like doing the whoa, 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 whoa. Like what are you trying to do is not going to go super well, right? Like you're already there. Like you're, you're like in the in the weeds. Like you, you, you get you send them the spreadsheet, right? Like send her the spreadsheet when she asks for it. Like you're there's there's like you you've already kind of lost the battle prior to that because some other outcome was 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 not satisfied at that point the best you can do is try to use the time use the act of sharing it and and their critique on the specific things to try to suss out what they're discontent with right like you could you know by you know so pull the spreadsheet together send them the thing like it's just like they asked for it like we need to do say no right so like send them the thing and then, and then they're gonna be like well why isn't you know doug working on blah or why isn't sandy on you know like this thing or why is this thing that like and that part of the dialogue, when they start trying to move the squares around in the, in the spreadsheet, is where you'll be able to suss out, like, what is it that they're actually trying to do, right, in the whole thing. Um, but, at the, I mean, like, you know, at, at, for that small battle in the war is already lost in that one. Um, and I, th I think the, 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 the question is, like, well, you know, how do you play it better for the future? How do you avoid that situation? How do you kind of reconcile it? And, and, and I think... To me, that means that like, look, the distrust was there, so that means like we didn't know like what the uh, what the the real issue we're trying to solve for. We were trying to get something done by a date that didn't get done. We we're trying to get like something. We missed the thing that was supposed to happen that didn't happen, right? Um, and then and then once that failure happened, which we didn't acknowledge the failure happened, then it was like a distrust of like the system. So, like, I, I think that means that, like, one, we, we needed to find out what the thing was so we can get ahead of it to make sure that we're all on point around what we're trying to do. It. If it's untenable, then, like, let's hash the untenable first, right? Like, the, uh, and then the other part is, like, we probably need to, if the answer is they disagree with the assignment mechanism, like, deep down philosophical, like, do we hate the process? Do we hate your org structure? All of those things. 
It's probably mean we need to sell that, explain that, make the trade-off of that to like months ago, right? In that thing. So like um it, it it's like the you know understanding like that part of it, like that like this is the manifestation of those things. It's a little how do you you know, dig yourself back out of that slash. How do you not do that next time kind of thing? Eli, how do you get ahead of this in your relationship with Andrew? Because I know that you do have kind of the benefit of seeing some of these thing, conversations that play at sort of the scale of all the engineering organizations that you're supporting. Um, how have you kind of applied this getting ahead uh, with Andrew? Yeah, a lot of it is to make sure that we have clarity, that Andrew has clarity and not just Andrew. Andrew is a stand-in for other people in the business too who care about this on how we're organizing ourselves, how people are working, how the choices are getting made, what the process for all this stuff is. So it's, you know, if you have a beef with the priority of, you know, paying attention to something, the right answer is not, hey, give me a list of all the people and I expect I can work it around. It's like, oh, I know how to engage in that process of getting something on the radar and getting it prioritized. Or I know that there's these three things that we're investing in and we're lined up to make a lot of progress on those and in favor of, other things. And if I disagree with that, there's a way of engaging. So for me, it's about that. Get, make, getting clarity on org structure and process and delivery mechanics and the how the how the work is allocated and decisions are made ahead of time. I, I like let, let me jump in, Patrick, because I don't want to pretend we're all roses here. Like we we work through our stuff. Like um, and I, I would actually say like like Eli just kind of like put on a point. This is actually germane to us right now. Like I I think I've been. If I've been annoying in the last couple of weeks, it's been like, hey, I really need you to like explain the org to the org, right? <laughs> right? Like, because like I actually I, I, see, I see a preview of this happening where like we've been growing really fast. Eli's adding teams, which is awesome. Right. But it's like there's all new vernacular and there's all reorganizing of the team. And I'm already noticing how like Eli's already shifted vernacular around this stuff around who does what and why. And, and I'm already lost touch with, well, who do I go to about this? And why isn't this happening over here? And it's happening over there. So like, I'm trying, like, I've been nagging on you, Eli, to, to like explain that stuff because um, not just to be a pain in the butt about it, because I already smell a predecessor to this, this conflict happening if we're not careful, because I don't think all of us understand how the new team is organized and like, and, and what we should be looking for across who's doing what. Yeah, no, I think that's right. And at the phase of growth that we're in, there's no reason why you would, because this is, you know, the world is different from how it was a month ago or six weeks ago, and it'll be different still in, you know, two months later. We're hiring people into new roles that we've never had before. We're, you know, there's lots of stuff changing structurally about, about how we work. Um, and so, yeah, I think trying to stay ahead of that, and but 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 to your point, Andrew, like it's, the job is not done. Um, I don't mean to declare victory on everyone. Definitely understands how I'm doing it, and none of this stuff is an issue. 